We often show you crews fighting fires on the ground and the planes, air tankers and choppers fighting it from the air. But it's not often you get to see the smoke jumpers at work. Today, that elite group of firefighters showed off their skills as they prepared to fight fires here at a moment's notice. Packing for these firefighters is a little different than most. That's because this is their ride into the firefight. Same thing as the guys on the ground. You know, we just get there differently. They're smoke jumpers sent in to rugged places by air. It looked really exciting. It looked very challenging. And indeed, it has been very challenging. There's enough food and water, sleeping bag, and uh, tools for two people. Everything they need dropped from the sky. The middle seats are chainsaws, so we can throw those out. Pretty much anything that can fit through this door, we can put a parachute on it and throw it out. You may remember them in action during last summer's Comanche fire in the Manzanos. I drew out a little pattern of uh, the responsibilities for each jumper. Today, these jumpers from Idaho and Montana are on standby to help here, getting in some practice jumps. A big part of that, checking the wind. But we'll come over to the spot. We usually come down and do a low pass so people can see the hazards. And then we'll climb to 1,500 feet above ground level. And I'll throw out some streamers, a little paper mache weighted on one end. And that'll show us the, the drift and what the winds are doing. Then it's time to go. One after another after another, saving crucial time. And we're trying to do that expeditedly so we can get people on the ground. When seconds matter, it definitely takes a special type of person to do this. What makes you go from just regular firefighting to smoke jumping, at least for you? Crazy. <laughs> because as soon as they're done, they pack back up and get ready to do it again. Now the smoke jumpers say they are on standby here in New Mexico because of our high fire danger. As soon as our monsoons hit, they will likely head back up north, as will some of our local guys.